Have you ever seen a diagram of a food chain? Food chain diagrams are representations of the feeding relationship between different organisms in a community. In food chain diagrams, the directional flow of food energy is represented by arrows. The arrows point to the organism getting the energy. When we see a diagram of a food chain, we are looking at a graphic representation of a scientific model. A scientific model is a simplified representation of a system and it can be used to understand, analyze, and make predictions. Scientific models are either static or dynamic. Look around your classroom. Can you think about examples of scientific models? Let's pause the video so you have time to think. A diagram of a food chain is a static model because you cannot change a variable to test an idea. Other examples of static scientific models are the human anatomy skeleton model, molecular model sets, and the world globe. Today we are going to study a food chain model from the Peruvian marine ecosystem. Do you know where Peru is? It's in South America. We know all species are important in the ecosystem, but did you know that some species are more important than others? Today's activity is going to help us understand about food chains and how some species have a bigger impact in the food chain and are more important than others. These species are called keystone species. A keystone species is one that plays a crucial role in the balance of the environment. In the Peruvian marine ecosystem, the anchovy is the keystone species. Have you ever heard about anchovies? You have probably seen anchovies in a can, on a pizza, or maybe on TV. The anchovy is a small fish that lives in the southeast Pacific and feeds on plankton. Although it is a small fish, the anchovy is the most abundant fish in the Peruvian Sea. They live in very large schools of several million individuals. The Peruvian anchovy is considered a keystone species. Do you know why? Phytoplankton are the producers. This means they get their energy from the sun for vital functions such as growth and making their own food. In the Peruvian marine ecosystem, phytoplankton are the lowest trophic level of the food chain. Zooplankton are primary consumers because they feed on producers. In this case, they feed on phytoplankton. In this food chain, the zooplankton are in the second trophic level. Anchovies are secondary consumers. They feed on phytoplankton and zooplankton. They are in the third trophic level. From fish like sardines to tuna, seabirds, including the Humboldt penguin, and sea mammals like sea lions, dolphins, and whales. As you can see, the anchovy is very important to its ecosystem because so many other animals depend on it for food. Now we know the basic concepts of the food chain. Let's see how different events can change it. 